Martha McChesney Berry devoted her life to providing educational opportunities to impoverished children of the Georgia mountains. As a child, Martha often traveled into the North Georgia mountains with her father, a successful plantation owner known to help poor families with gifts of food. Seeing the squalor in which these proud mountain families lived affected Martha at an early age. She admired and wanted to help them, and years later, she would find a unique and significant way to do so. The inspiration for what would become Barry Schools and later Barry College can be traced back to one Sunday afternoon. Martha was visiting the log cabin she and her siblings used as a playhouse in their youth. Singing some old favorite hymns to herself, she noticed three young boys peeking into the cabin. The boys shyly entered, and Martha read them Bible stories. Like most mountain children, the boys had no Sunday school, church, or public school to attend. Hungry for knowledge, they listened intently, enthralled by the stories. Martha was struck by their fascination and invited them back. The next Sunday, when the boys returned, they brought friends and family members. Weeks passed and the group continued to grow. Eventually, Martha formed a Bible school in an abandoned church nearby. It was a step in the right direction, but she soon realized that along with Bible school, the children desperately needed education. So she went to work and within a few years helped establish several schools in local mountain communities that had never before had a public education system. Local schools were crucial, but even so, many mountain children couldn't attend daily classes since they often lived miles away without transportation. Realizing this, Martha began organizing a school where students could live on campus for extended periods of time, immersing themselves in education. To that end, in 1902, she made a bold step, dedicating her family inheritance of 83 acres of land to become the site of what she called the Boys Industrial School. The school became a self-supporting farm where boys could pay their way by helping on campus. By 1909, a similar girls' school was opened, and in 1926, the two institutions combined to become a junior college. In 1930, the school was again transformed, becoming the four-year institution known today as Barry College. Martha believed that education should involve the head, the heart, and the hands, and she dedicated herself to that unique vision, a vision that lives on today at the college that bears her name.